Hey guys, Richard Holder here and welcome to the channel. Today it's all about six liter performance. Aww. We're going to take a look at a bunch of stock stuff. We got some stock cylinder heads to compare and some stock camshafts to compare. So which one's best? In this video, we have some very cool comparisons on a six liter LY6. We're going to take a look at factory camshafts and factory cylinder heads. On the camshaft side, we have a stock six liter cam, we have an LS3 cam, and we have the LS9 cam. So which one makes the most power? Which one makes the most torque? On the cylinder head side, we have a 706 head against a 799 head against a Recport LS3 LY6 head. Again, which one makes more power? Which one makes more torque? Do any of them lose power? Let's take a look. To get things started on our cylinder head and camshaft comparison, on our 6 liter, we're going to start out with cylinder heads. We're going to start out by comparing factory 706 heads to 799 heads to a set of factory LY6 heads, which basically are the same as the LS3. So the 799 is equal to the 243, and the 706 is the same as the 862. So all of those will interchange with each other. So we ran these on a 6 liter LY6, which is an iron block with originally had rectangular port heads on it. This was the same motor that we ran in the uh, Gen 4 Big Bang motor that made 1,540 horsepower. So I used this particular motor for lots and lots of testing, including the cylinder head comparison. But naturally, we didn't want to compare these heads with a stock camshaft. We'll, we'll look in a minute in the next video clip and show you what happens when we run different cams on these. But right now, we wanted to be able to, you know, test the heads and see how much they were worth. And the only way to do that is we already had six liters of displacement, which is a good start. But we obviously needed a good camshaft, too, to really kind of put them to the test so that the motor would make decent power and show what the different flow rates of the heads were actually, you know, able to support here. So what we did was we had our LY6 and we installed a good camshaft. This particular one was a comp. 54-459-11. Uh, that cam offered a 617-624 lift split, a 231-239 degree duration split, and a 114 degree load separation angle. And I want you to go ahead already and start making the comments and telling me, but that's not a rec port cam and you need a rec port cam with the rec port heads. Actually, you don't. That video is up. Take a look. You'll see that a 459 cam, which is a cathedral port cam, and a 469 cam, which is listed as a rec port cam, both do exactly the same thing on the different cylinder heads because I've tested that as well. So we ran that camshaft. We also installed on these, uh, on both the cathedral port heads, both the 706 and the 799, we installed a Dorman LS2 intake manifold, which I have a video up on that. Basically the same as a, same functionally anyway as a Trailblazer SS intake manifold. It just is lower and it fits in different spots. So that's a fairly good intake manifold. It's not quite what a fast LSXR or LSXRT is. It doesn't make as much power as those, but it makes as much as a Trailblazer SS. We also ran a 92 millimeter throttle body, ran all of this with a Holley, the uh, HP management system. I think we had a set of inch and, uh, seven eights headers on it yeah inch and seven eights headers on all of the combinations and then naturally we optimize the air fuel and timing on all these these are all running about 30 degrees of total timing and our air fuel was right in the 12 8 range for all of these so what we did was start out by running the 706 heads and the 706 heads were just all stock not ported anyway. Each one of the heads had a valve spring upgrade. In fact, on the 706 and 799 heads, we just used the same springs. We took the heads off, replaced the springs, and put the, they, these were 26918 Beehive Comp springs and uh, were enough for this camshaft. Both of them had the same length push rod, 7.4 inches. And here's what happened when we compared them. So equipped with the 706 heads, our 6 liter produced 513 horsepower and 483 foot-pounds of torque. You can see good curve, nice torque plateau that we've been be used to on a LS combination. And here's what happened when we installed the 799 heads with the same camshaft. The 799 heads actually made a little bit more power, which is not surprising given that they flow more than a 706 head does. So they produce 522 horsepower Torque was about the same uh, at 481 foot-pounds. You can see below 5,000 or so, 
they lost out in torque production to the smaller 706 heads, but they did gain power on the top. So more flow. They did have a slightly larger combustion chamber because we just ran these the way a stock 706 head comes, the way a stock 799 head comes. In this case, the 799 was about two and a half cc's bigger than the 706 head because that's the way they come. They also come with bigger intake valves um, than the 706 head does. So now let's take a look and see what happened when we stepped up to, you know, the best flowing of all the factory heads. This was the standard rec port head that was originally came on the LY6, basically functionally equivalent to an LS3 head. So rec port head, bigger valves, bigger ports, all of that. And it did indeed make more power. Now we obviously had to run the rec port heads with the factory. We ran it with a factory LS3 intake manifold and equipped with the uh, rec port heads. The power output jumped to 541 horsepower. Peak torque was also up, interestingly enough, 492 foot-pounds. It just made power basically, it made quite a bit more power from about 5,000 on up compared to the other heads. But you can see down, down below, below 4,200, let's say, it made less power than either of the cathedral port heads. And that's I've run this head test many times, and that's typically what we see. The um, larger ports and larger valves tend to reduce low speed power compared to a cathedral port head. Now, it also must be noted that the that the rec port heads had the biggest chambers. These were 69 cc's, so they were quite a bit bigger than the chambers on either one of the other heads. So the compression would also be down on the LS3 head. Now, I know everyone's going to want me to mill them and make them all the same, but this was more a test of the stock heads, the way that they come, not if we modified them to make them different. So here's what happens when you compare all of the stock heads in stock trim, basically, with a good cam on your six liter. So now let's take a look at the different cam combinations. After taking a look at the various stock cylinder heads, now time to take a look at different stock camshafts that we ran on this 6 liter. Again, it's an iron block LY6. And we started things off with a stock 6 liter cam. Now, the early 6 liters, this is not obviously an LY6 camshaft because that would have been a VVT cam. We removed that and put one of the standard camshafts in, one of the non-VVT cams. This one was a later 6 liter. The early 6 liter shared the camshaft, the very mild camshaft, with the LM7 and the LQ4. So this is a later LQ4 slash LQ9 camshaft, stock fixed cam non-VVT and run with the this is run on the ly6 with rectangular port heads and i think that this was the stock intake manifold yes with and with a 90 millimeter throttle body inch and seven eighths headers and the factory ly6 intake manifold which is the same as the it, it made exactly the same power as the ls3 intake manifold so run with the stock 6 liter cam, this LY6 produced 443 horsepower and 467 foot-pounds torque. So that's still a fairly mild camshaft. Let's take a look and see what happened when we added an LS3 intake manifold to it. I mean LS3, uh, rather LS3 camshaft. So the LS3 camshaft is, from a performance standpoint, is a good step up in power compared to the truck cam, and not surprisingly so. If you look at the results here, you'll see that the power production on the LS3 camshaft is tailored more toward the top end performance part of the RPM range. And the truck cam, as you see, made more torque from 4,500 on down, kind of where you would be using it in truck applications. So the LS3, equipped with the LS3 cam, this combination produced 477 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 469 foot pounds. Yes, 469 foot pounds. So torque was, peak torque was fairly similar, although you could see that the LS3 camshaft had kind of more of a, a broad torque kind of plateau for four or 500 RPM where the truck cam just kind of came up and then rolled over. So now let's take a look at our final camshaft, and this camshaft is actually an LS9 cam, very popular, and it's probably the biggest, uh, that and the LS7 are the biggest, most powerful factory cams, and you can see 
that it did indeed make more peak power. It made push peak power all the way up to 488 horsepower, but peak torque was down quite a bit. In fact, power was down from 5,600 all the way down, and torque was down by as much as 40 foot-pounds or more down low. Now, I should point out that the, the LY6 run with this uh, LS9 cam was not the same motor as these other two. I did compare the two with the same cam, although not any of these, and they made identical power because these were both started out as junkyard LY6 motors. So when tested in the same condition, they made exactly the same power. So I'm assuming we would see the same gains, but the LS9 camshaft has done this every time that I've tested it. I, you could take a look back where I tested all of the factory cams on the 5.3 liter, and we saw a similar thing. The LS9 cam was designed to enhance power higher in the RPM range. It has a very wide LSA. It was designed for a blower application, and in these lower RPM ranges, the blower already has like immediate boost and is making plenty of torque there. So what they did was uh, move things out a little bit to enhance power production higher in the rev range where the roots blower isn't quite as efficient. And also this camshaft provides lots of power, but it also provides a good um, idle quality and that kind of stuff. So the LS9 cam, definitely decent on the big end, but not very good through most of the middle, even on a six liter. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, what do we learn from this comparison running all the factory cams and all the factory cylinder heads on our 6 liter LY6? Well, we learn the same thing that we always do when we do these kinds of comparisons. There's going to be a trade-off, <laughs> both with the camshafts and with the cylinder heads. If we look at the camshafts, obviously the factory cam, the 6 liter cam, makes good low speed power as you would expect from a truck cam. You put an LS3 cam in there, sure, it makes a lot more peak power, but it does sacrifice power down low, so you kind of have to decide. Am I more interested in the power below 4,500 RPM or the power above 4,500 RPM? And for the guys thinking about an LS9 cam, do you want the cam that make, the factory cam that makes the most peak power? Well, that's definitely it. But as you saw, big sacrifice on low speed power. So what do you want from your camshaft? And then whatever that is, pick the cam accordingly. Same thing we saw with cylinder heads, the 706 head on the six liter actually worked fairly well. It had the most like torque production down low, but compared to the 799, which definitely flows more, you can pick up power at the top with the bigger, higher flowing head, bigger valves, that kind of stuff on the 799. You can also mill the 799 and get it to produce that same low speed power probably as the 706 and kind of have the best of both worlds. But then you're talking about a modified cylinder head. Now take a look at the rec port head, which flows way more than both of those heads. In fact, it can support 650 NA horsepower without any problem because it flows a ton of air. But as we saw, the combination of big valves, big ports, and also, don't forget, a big chamber meant that that thing lost power down below 4,000 RPM or so, but picked up a ton of power on the top. It all comes down to where you want your power. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And don't forget, on one of these motors on this 6 liter, when we added trick flow heads and a good camshaft, the thing made 570 horsepower. So the factory stuff is good, but aftermarket stuff is even better.